Today we have a video for you, how to teach schwa. <laughs> so Angie's going to go through what in the world schwa even is. We all, all see right. it. Sometimes we don't know what it is. So we're going yeah. to teach you today. Schwa. Schwa is spelled like that. Schwa is a sound that any vowel can make. Any vowel. So it really is something we have to teach. If you have a word and a vowel is making a sound that it's not supposed to, it's probably schwa. I like to teach that the sound for schwa is just the lazy short use sound. So if you open your mouth and let a, a voice come out, uh, that that is the lazy you, that is the schwa sound. Technically, it's a tiny, tiny shift off of that, but it's so close that if we teach our students that it's the short U sound, say, uh, they'll get the word. Yeah. And it doesn't make any sense to teach a different sound for it because then it's just confusing. Yeah, because I've seen in reading programs, it'll give you a couple different sound options and I'm just like, ah! Yeah. So I love just the focus on uh. Yep, just keep it simple. Mm -hmm. so, well, simple. It's simple. Simply teach. Yeah. So if we're just going to focus on it being the short U sound, uh, that lazy okay. sound, um, we'll, we'll make it simple for our students. It'll we don't really have help. to worry about all the other sounds that it could possibly sound like when really that's, that's the closest sound. Okay. So let's give a couple examples and then people can hear that short U yeah. Yeah. sound. So you go ahead and do that and we'll listen. So if you were teaching this to your students, if it was um, a schwa week, or if, if it's not in your reading program, you're going to need to pull it in. Absolutely. So this may be just you doing a good job at pulling in sounds that aren't provided. So I would say, this is the sound uh. The sound uh can be spelled with any vowel spelling. And maybe I list those for my students, A-E-I-O-U, right? Or point to them because they're already hanging on your They're already hanging board. on my wall, yeah. A-E-I-O-U. Yep. All of those can say uh in some words. So I want you to listen for that sound uh in the word comma, comma. You hear it? Camel, camel. You hear how it's just a, oh, it's a tiny hair off, but it's Especially so close it just one, doesn't yeah. matter. Um, above, above. Two of them. Freedom, freedom. And freedom, it's just a touch off, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because if I have the short U sound, I'm going to very strongly say the short U in freedom, freedom. I'm going to get that word. Absolutely. So short U is where we're going to go to keep it simple for kids. They're, they're going to be able to decode the words okay. that have that in it. So if we were doing some word blending and decoding, let's show what that would look like. All right. Most of our schwas we're going to run into are going to be in multisyllabic words. We're going to also talk about a couple that aren't multisyllabic and some that we're just going to teach as um, sight words, words because yeah. they're pretty tricky. So these are the ones we have listed on our card. So we'll just go over those. So in the word, in this word, let's go through multisyllabic word reading strategy. We don't see any, or do we see any I prefixes? I don't see any prefixes or suffixes. All right, so let's look for vowels. All right, I see an O and an A, so I'll try A, and I'm going to try A. All right, Just, let's blend. So comma, comma does not make sense to me. All right. So I'm going to leave the A. Uh, I'm going to change the, I'm going to try long vowel because nothing's coming to me. So. Okay. Kame, Kame, still didn't work. Still didn't work. So Let's now try my third, third vowel choice, schwa, comma, comma, I got it, comma. So that's what we like to do is short vowel, long vowel, schwa. And that's just the pattern you're going to try. Okay. All right, now with this one, this is going to be a word that hopefully they learn as a sight yeah, word. We would hope so. So we're, we could do it as a, a sound by sound, mm -hmm. but it doesn't make any sense to have taught it sound by sound. So it's probably just going to be a sight word. 
This is the word was. What's the word? Was. Spell was. W-A-S. What's the word? Was. And I would actually do the same with above because it has two schwas and this schwa is with the spelling O blank E. So they might say above or something. Yeah. That's a lot of work to get to the uh, spelling. A lot of work. So I'm going to do, this is the word above. What's the word? Above. Spell above. A-B-O-V-E. What's the word? Above. I'm going to handle those two words as sight words. I'm probably going to do that with this one also because there we have uh -huh. O blank E again. It's a should lot of work o. to get there. Not yep. should say O, but it that's the common <laughs> spelling of O, right? Right. So I'm going to do, this is the word come. What's the word? Come. Spell come. C-O-M-E. What's the word? Come. All right. With these two, however, I think we can get there same as we did with that one. So right. are there any prefixes or suffixes we see? Not that I recognize. All right, let's look for vowels and vowel patterns. All right, I see E, two E's, make an E, and then an O. I'll try A. Ah. Okay. So freedom, freedom. Oh, I, that sounds really close to the schwa spelling of A. Uh, so let's try that. Freedom. Freedom. Yay. That was so easy, right? Because she recognized this word one sound away. And then let's try this one. Any prefixes or suffixes? I don't see any. All right, vowels and vowel patterns. Okay, there's a, oh, an A and an E. That could be A. I'll try that. Okay. So here we go. K-mel. Oh, K-mel. That sounds close to the uh. So I'm going to not try E. I'm, but I'm going to try an uh. So came o It's not working. Not that working. That A isn't working. So okay. I'm going to do the short A sound. Okay. Camel. Camel. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we're teaching our students to be flexible, try different sounds for those vowels, including the schwa. And if you teach them well, those rules of short vowel, long vowel, schwa, they do it. I'm a second grade teacher and my students do that. They get in the habit because I've instructed them short vowel, long vowel, schwa. They really do. Yeah. It's like it's more than doable, right? <laughs> yeah, and as the teacher, I'm not doing the work. The student's mm -hmm. doing the work. I'm just kind of pointing as they're talking and letting them do the thinking and yeah. and letting them make the kind of the decisions about what they want to choose with that word. And I was speaking what I was thinking in my head. I don't think your students would be talking that much. <laughs> Some of them That'd maybe. be a fun student. <laughs> yeah, I would. All right, so that's the schwa. Hopefully we helped you understand it a little bit better. Don't okay. be afraid of it. Absolutely teach it. There are a lot of words in our language that have the schwa sound. So you're going to have to teach it to your students as early as even first grade. So don't be afraid yeah. of it. If you are ready to teach schwa, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video. Yeah. Comment. If you still have questions about schwa, ask us. We would love to help. And thank you for watching this video. Make yeah. sure you watched our why and what sound spelling videos and our other sound spelling focus videos we have a lot and lots more coming so thank you for watching we're the simple teachers simply, simply teach, teach.